military levity launching a sonorous symposium enshrining the shimmering Miss Sheila Stiefel and the non Korean Players Theatre! When they brought on the Limburger cheese, someone said, oh, oh. <laughs> Touch the heart gently, my pretty Louise. Pretty Louise, pretty Louise. Just to accompany the hum of the cheese. Touch the heart gently, <laughs> my pretty Louise. feel so shy. I sat in a chair and I cast down my eye. It's two in the morning, my Archibald said. You can sit up all night, dear, but I'm going to bed. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Touch the harp gently, my pretty Louise. Pretty Louise, pretty Louise. If I'm asleep, don't wake me if you please. Touch the harp gently, <laughs> my pretty Louise. <laughs> Provocatively 
vociferous, in very similitudinous, ventrilingual from the stomach, vivification, Mr. Arthur Wesley! Well, what a lovely audience, eh? Thank you for the applause of Rekaying On, which is more than we'll get when we walk off, isn't it? <laughs> now, um, <laughs> since we last saw you, we have been, 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 is everybody all right in the ditch? <laughs> we have been all over, not caught all, all over the world. And he didn't like it, he says next year he's going somewhere else. And, uh, <laughs> You're lucky to see us tonight. What a time. You're lucky tonight. Aren't they lucky tonight? Oh, God's truth. Uh, hey? Look at me when I'm talking, son. <laughs> the trouble we had in London, we came on a choo-choo, didn't we? Didn't we come on a little choo-choo? <laughs> he got the ticket on the last minute. He ran on the platform, didn't you? I was in the suitcase and he ran on the platform, <laughs> jumped in the train, and the inspector said, you're in the wrong train. What did he say? Get out, didn't he? <laughs> he ran to the other platform, jumped on the train. The inspector came again. What did he say to you? You're on the wrong train, didn't he? <laughs> I could hypnotise you, do you know? <laughs> It wouldn't take long, you're half gone already. He, he, said, he said, get out! He said, didn't he? We got on another, on another, we got on another, we got on another train. <laughs> that drink you had has gone to my tongue, you know. <laughs> we got on another train. And what did you do? You started swearing, didn't you? <laughs> Who was a naughty boy? <laughs> Who started swearing? Because <laughs> you're getting messed up out, eh? <laughs> and who was sitting opposite you on the train? <laughs> A parson. <laughs> <laughs> and he heard you, didn't he? He heard you swearing, didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> and he said, Young man. <laughs> He said, young man, didn't he? You're on the road to hell. <laughs> and he said, dang it, I'm on the wrong train again. <laughs> Bernard, I'm not going to do the song. Understand, there's no song. Cutting it out. I was going to do the Merry Widow. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> now... You've been a wonderful audience. I would like to wish you good night. And always remember that it wasn't the apple on the tree that caused all the trouble in the Garden of Eden. It was the pear on the ground. <laughs> good night. That's it. <laughs>
on the tree. Now, if I was a duchess and I had a lot of money, I'd give it to the boy who's going to marry me. But I haven't got a penny, so we'll live on loving kisses. And we'll be just as happy as the birds on the trees. The boy I love is up in the gallery. The boy I love is looking down at me. Why, there he is, can't you see? Wavy. As merry as a robin, what sits on the tree? Yes, there is, can't you see? He's waving of his handkerchief. As merry as a robin, that sits on the tree. Debonair duplicity oh. in a spectacular synthesis of incantatory and saltatory oh. simultaneity. Oh. Two lads singing and dancing together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ray C. Davis and Tudor Davis. Oh. Tell me, have you seen the latest dancers come along? Why don't you go and get your Sunday hat and jacket on? Oh, there's going to be some jollity. Come along, join the throng. Help us sing a soppy song. I tell you, it's the greatest thing creation's ever known. Take a tip or two and see. Hold tight, you're all right. How when you do the H.O.P. Hop, hop, come and do the kangaroo. Hop, hop, here's the dance for me and you all. The ones you did before they didn't need a jot. Atmosphere in this fine old theatre decidedly bucolic. Pardon? Bucolic, bucolic. All right, all right. Is that kippery at breakfast? Oh, I feel like doing something forwards as well as backwards. No, forwards and very daring. I know. Yes. Why don't we invite some of these lovely ladies in the audience oh. to join with us in a little. Oh. <laughs> Terpsichorial display. We get arrested. You, you take, take the left, left I'll, I'll take the right. Right, oh, right, right now, who's going to come and dance with me? Who's going to come and dance oh, with I me? Oh, I think there's one there, there's don't one you? There. Come on, come and have a dance. Up you come. You haven't got jeans. No, I do. What's your name, my darling? I've got a Deborah. I've got a Deborah. That's one. Come on, my darling. I can come with another one. Oh, my What's your name? Oh, that's all. You're not with anyone you shouldn't be, are you? No. Oh, here we go. Well, I've got two. 
Right, the right, one, 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 That's one. Here we go. Where's another one? Sandra. Oh, Sandra, I've got. Oh, never mind. You can get some ointment for it. <laughs> Round you go. Right, follow me, ladies. Here we go. La da da da. da What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> Stand to my right. Here we go. Stand to my left. Right. Here's one. I think. Are you ready? ready. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Uh, ladies, won't you let us whisper something in your ear? We've got some information that we're sure you'd like to hear. Come on and throw yourselves about. Give a shout, there's no doubt. Everything is popping out. Ladies, if we saw those frilly knickers in the air, all the girls would doubtless see. It's a scream, one long dream. Oh, when you do the HOP, auxiliaries having eliminated the impedimenta of illusion once again auriferous in transformation ever adorable Miss Ira Heath Tommy met Kitty in the subway one day 
she was sweeter than the flowers in May. He soon found out that pretty kitty went every day up to the city. She was engaged to answer telephone calls and when rung up one day, as she cried hello through the telephone, she heard her Isn't it a pity in the city you work so hard with your one, two, three, four, five, or six, seven, eight, Gerard? Kitty, kitty, isn't it a pity that you're wasting so much time with your lips close to the telephone when they might be close to mine? Kitty said, you are far too forward, I fear. You must remember, I'm on business here. And I'm afraid your conversation sounds like a naughty boy's flirtation. People will think that we are too long engaged. How can that be, said he. I'm not engaged here to anyone, but I should like to be. Kitty, kitty, isn't it a pity in the city you work so hard with your one, two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight, Gerard? Kitty, kitty, that you're wasting so much time with your lips close to the telephone when they might be close to mine with your lips close to the telephone when they might be close to Garulity, oh. endearing and diminutive drollery, your own, my own, everybody's own, Mr. Arthur Askin! <laughs> The girl I love is up in the gallery. The girl I love has gone to have, have a tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this is where the programme bucks up now, playmates. I, uh... <laughs> Here and now, before your very eyes. <laughs> Go find your own catchphrases. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to sing a little song I haven't sung for a long time, and it is called The Worm. I am a sweet little wriggling worm, covered in mud from head to stern, passing the time from night till morn, leaving little casts in the middle of the lawn. Just a the worm, squiggy, 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 squirm, squirm, squirm. <laughs> I am a sweet little wriggling worm, one of the sort that rarely turn. I'd rather be out in a storm or a blizzard than filling empty spaces in a black bird's gizzard. <laughs> Just a Ordinary little worm Squiggy, 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 squiggy Swirm, swirm, swirm I told you it was all right He said it's rubbish <laughs> 
I am a sleek little wriggling worm Haven't any hair so I don't need a perm But one day it will be my fate Sitting on the pin as a small boy's bait That's the end of every little worm Squiggle, 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 squirm, 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 squirm. That's it, start the silver collection. <laughs> anyway, that's a lovely play. Do you like the suit? Yes. Smart, isn't it? Well, I was recommended, you see, by a friend of mine. I went to this tailor's and it was a lady. A lady tailor, yes. So I started walking out of the shop. She said, oh, don't be silly, come back. I've done a lot of men. So, <laughs> what did you do then? You moved. <laughs> So anyway, she said, I'll, I'll measure you for your trousers first, you see. <laughs> so she got an inch tape and she went round me, my waist, he said, 32. <laughs> then round the hips, 34. Then she said, I'll take the inside leg now, 28. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'll measure you for your jacket. Now I said, tell, with a jacket, I'll have another pair of trousers. <laughs> To conclude this rather amazing and versatile act of mine, I, um, I'm going to sing you another of my little songs. This one I wrote myself years ago, and it's called The Seagull. I'm a silly seagull flying in the sky, ever, 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 ever so high. Two big wings and a large yellow beak, feathers on the chassis, oh, I do look chic. Flying very high, flying very low, you can never catch me, oh dear, no. Happy at the seaside, never having words, happier in Chelsea with the other birds. Just a silly seagull, that's all. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. I'm a silly seagull flying in the sky, ever, 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 ever so high. Though I cannot sing like the birdies in the park, don't think I'm a sissy cos I often have a lark. Flying very high, flying very low, you can never catch me, oh dear, no. When the weather's stormy, we have got you skinned, you never find a seagull suffer from the wind. Just a silly seagull, that's all. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Fred, uh, Paul. <laughs> Yes, the silly seagull, that's all. Fly away, Peter, fly away. I shan't apologise for introducing my next performer, although by the time she's finished, you might think I should have. Um, but I have been persuaded by her mother, Lady Wellington Boot, and when I said... <laughs> suffice it to say, ladies and gentlemen, that I am going to introduce a performer who has never before appeared in public, given a performance in public, and I give you, for your astonishment, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Honourable E, Miss E Wellington, You think I'm such 
a man. I'm not. I'm 32. <laughs> I haven't started something. <laughs> that was, of course, Miss Sheila Stiefel. And now, corobantically coordinating oh. in a cockney cantata, we give you the Players Theatre and gorgeous Georgia Brown! <laughs> Nasty cough, 
sees me and he takes his topper off in a very gentlemanly way. Ma'am says he, I've got some news to tell. Your old Uncle Tom from Camberwell popped all three some, which is sad to tell, leaving you his little donkey shame. Watch out! Oh, the name's Ryan. The night winds bitter that around about her world, though the hundreds pass unheeding in the evening's waning hours, still she cries with voice so pleading. Won't you buy my pretty flowers? There are hundreds sad and weary in this precious land of ours. Crying every night, so dreary. Won't you buy? My pretty flowers. Won't you buy my flowers? My lovely flowers. Won't you buy my lovely flowers? I never was a one to go and stint myself. Now, if I likes a thing, I likes it. That's it done. And there's lots of people say that when you likes a thing a lot. It'll grow on you and all that sort of stuff. Well, I likes my drop of beer as well as anyone. But a drop of beer is supposed to make you fat. And there's many a lardy dardy madam doesn't dare to touch it. Cause she mustn't spoil her figure. Silly cat. I always hold with everything. If you fancies it, if you fancies it, that's understood. And suppose it makes you fat. I don't worry over that. Cause a little of what your fancy does you all together. I always hold you down if you fancy it. I'm on your case. It's understood. Yeah, I suppose it makes you fat. I don't worry over that. Cause a little of what your fancy does you all. About this little adventure. Do you like my birdie? Yes. Don't eat much and I'll sing. Yes. Here we go. I had to move a rake, cause the rent we couldn't pay. The moving van came round just after dark. There was me and my old man shoving things inside a van, which we'd often done before, let me remark. We packed all that could be packed on the van, and that's a fact. And we got inside, or we could get inside. Then we packed what could be packed on the tailboard at the back, till there wasn't any room for me to ride. And my old man said, follow the van, and don't dilly dally on the way. Well, off went the van with my own minute. I followed up with me old pop in it. I dilly dally. Dally then, I dilly. Lost me way, don't know where to go. Now, who's gonna put up? Old iron bedstead if I can't find my way home. Here, the story gets sad, and I've lost my breath, and I've got to sit down. Oh, it's my back, you see. 
Oh, it gives me something terrible. Now, I thought I'd give an hand with the marble washing stand. And straight, we wasn't getting on so bad. But all at once, the driver bloke has an accident and broke the nicest bit of china that we had. Well, I got really mad. And I come over really bad. Just as any other human woman would. But I soon got over that. What with two out and a chat. Cos it's little things like that what does you go? And my old man said, follow the van and go dilly dally on the way. And you can't find your way home One more time Follow me, follow me Let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be All the way to bed Let me go and let me be No, you can't trust the special When you got a reputation And you can't Just time for the last chorus down at the old bull and bush. We give you Miss Georgia Brown, Mr. Arthur Askey, the entire company. We give you Mr. Herman Berman <laughs> and his inexhaustible orchestra. <laughs> but this time, chiefly. <laughs> <laughs>